Hello adventurers. So it's a bit of a crappy day outside, so I thought I would answer a few questions on my panniers on my KLR. I get quite a few questions on the panniers, where I get them from, how they are made, where to get the boxes, what sort of boxes. So let's uh, dive into it. It'll only be a short video, but we'll dive into what I did to make these panniers um, and the pros and cons of uh, using them. These panniers are made from SW Motec parts. So the clips here, you can see they're quarter turn uh, clips. Um, they're SW Motec and are designed for the KLR. And the frames here are also SW Motec. So that part there I bought. Um, and the reason I bought these is because they could be easily taken off. Um, to get to the air cleaner, for example, when you're on the road, you need to take the pannier off to be able to get this cover off to get to the air cleaner. A um, couple of quarter turn, um, three or four quarter turn bolts and that comes off and you can get to that. I can also just take them off when I want to ride around without them and uh, it looks quite clean. There's no uh, frames or anything in the way. Part of the pannier system was this top box, which is the same size as the other pannier. Um, I strengthened the whole back of the KLR. Um, what I've done is use these same aluminium side brackets, but this is um, aluminium, but they called it, it's high tensile aluminium, like aircraft grade aluminium, 3.8 thick or 10 mil, and I bolted it through. So I drilled through the, um, this aluminium side brackets that the indicators are bolted to, and bolted all the way through. Up under there, I also, uh, they were about four mil bolts originally, and they used to always snap off the minute that anything hit the side of here, it would snap those bolts. So I actually um, changed that out. I think they got six or eight mil bolts, the bolt into the subframe underneath, and I changed the subframe bolts and also put nuts on the bottom and bolted those through. And since I've done that, I've had no trouble with this back rack. Prior to that, I had a lot of trouble breaking these bolts and and all this coming loose. But since then, and I've done many trips, had no problems. And that's all because I think, you know, this is quite a big top box. Um, the factory rack was never designed to take it. And if you do lay the bike over, obviously this sticks out and gets hit. And if it's not strong enough, it will break those bolts. I guess if you make everything strong enough, something's got to give, but I've never broken or bent anything um, uh, the way it's set up there. So that's been good. And I've come off a few times. So uh, let's get these on and I'll show you how they bolt, uh, how they fit on. To get them on, I've got a tool that I made. It's effectively a, a screwdriver um, and it just fits into these um, quarter turn bolts. So, so you basically just put it up to the bike and you put in the quarter turn bolts and turn them. I don't know if we've got in the way. But just put them in and turn them a quarter of a turn and they just lock in. So you've got one here, one here, one there, and then there is one around the back here, and that slots into this side. Let's get this other side on and uh, show you with the both on. We'll put this one up the same way as the other one. Quarter turn bolts. Just this one at the back here that uh, helps um, hold them across the uh, back. If you fall on the side, it transfers some weight and helps um, hold that. We'll just get this quarter turn done up. There we go. 
And there you have it. That's um, that's the panniers on the bike as they would be if I was to pack them up and go on a ride. I often pack stuff on here, like maybe a tent and, and tie it on there. Um, I obviously pack stuff up on here. A lot of time I put my fuel up on top of there and over here as well. One's a, one side is a little bit further out due to the exhaust pipe. So let's take a look inside. So they've got four clips that hold them on and they're just basic Pelican case style there. Made by Craftsman or Craft Right, I think. I'll put the, I'll put the, um, an image of where I got them from up on screen. And they're just standard Pelican cases. I have added, what have I done to them? I've added these, just so this doesn't go all the way down. Behind here, they're bolted through, through the brackets. Um, there's obviously bolts go through there, and there are strips of actual steel in here. I thought about putting a whole plate in. Um, at the time, I don't think I had a big plate, but um, you could put a whole plate in. It would probably hold them um, better, but it'd be heavier. There's strips of steel in there and big washers, and I've had those on there for oh, probably eight years now, and I've had no, no issues with them. Um, downsides to them, um, they are a little hard to pack. Uh, obviously, the way they work, uh, they'd be probably easier if they were top-loading. Um, I use uh, sort of like containers that go in there. I'll grab one of those actually and I'll show you what that's like. Well, I've got a container. I use containers like these, which fit perfectly in here and two fit side by side and I can stack them. And I just put a bit of uh, tape on there like a hinge and I just stick my stuff in there and stack them up and that stops everything falling out when you open it up. And you can use this like a bit of a, an area to put your, your things. Another issue is, especially on this side, when you open up this side and it's on the stand, because it leans over, things will tend to try and fall out. Um, so the center stand helps with that a lot. You just have to be aware of that when you um, open them up. They're very rugged. Um, I've fell off a few times and, you know, they're sort of indestructible plastic. So, Never had a problem. I put these two pipes on here. These really, I just put things like chain lube and sometimes some food in there, easy access. Um, that's just extra storage, all that is. Here you see, I've actually bolted one through there. Um, the reason I did that, very simply, I lost one of the quarter turn, um, what these quarter turn fasteners, and that always stays on there anyway. So I just bolted that through. That's why that's like that. So yeah, that's, um, that's them really. Um, yeah, homemade, work well. Would I, like there's the, there's the um, polarity of um, hard panniers versus soft panniers. People will say hard panniers can break your legs and all that. Um, I, would, I would say yes, if you, I have had one incident never hurt me, but it could have where I actually got my leg jammed between an anthill in here and the back of the pannier. Uh, in sand, yes, your legs can hit the back of those. So yeah, there is something to that. But I think there's pros and cons to, to each. Um, I've been on rides with people with soft panniers that just get them ripped clean off the bike and then you've got to try and work out what to do with them. So that's, um, yeah, my thoughts on that. Would I go soft next time or hard? I don't know, I think it's a toss up 50-50. It just depend on um, what the bike was and, and what I was feeling on the day. But can, can't complain about these, they've worked really well. Just a couple of things about these cases in particular. Um, the Pelican cases I think are a lot better quality. These are cheaper copies of the Pelican case. I have lost the pins out of these clips have come out, I've actually got a soldering iron and melted them over so they don't come out. That's one thing you do have to be aware of. And I also don't think they seal as well. So when you have a look at the top of that, you can see that it's bowed. And when you put the thing up, it does seal, but I don't think it is as waterproof and as bulletproof as a proper Pelican case. Um, they do the job, but a Pelican case would be better quality. 
On top of that, the Pelican cases are actually a lot heavier, so they've always got a lot more material and plastic in the, um, in the uh, manufacturing of the case itself. So there you go, guys. That's a little bit about my Pelican cases. Any questions, stick in the comments. Um, I live in Australia. I got these from Bunnings, but I'm sure hardware stores all around the world have them. It's really not about these particular cases. It's just about a case that works for you. Um, one thing that I would add, next time I probably would put a smaller one on the top box, not the same size as the sides. I just think that would make it, um, especially when you don't have the, when you don't have this, uh, the side panniers on, a little prone, a little less stress on the side of the bike when you fall off. That's probably the only thing I'd change. But yeah, any of the Pelican cases, just what size do you want will work. SW Motec um, frames, bolt them together and off you go. All right, so that's the end of this one. Until I see you on the next video, have a good one.